Uh, Sarah and Brian here. We got something super creepy in the mail. Um, so it's a little bit of show and tell story time. Mm -hmm. All right. So we had someone contact us and say that he wanted to send us a doll, but that he wouldn't give any information until it was safely here. So it is... Here, you hold that. Mm -hmm. It is safely here, and it is a very big box. <laughs> so we are very excited to open it. Let me read the... I got the information from him. We waited to unbox it. Okay, it was gifted to this man by someone that he worked very briefly with um, several years ago when his daughter had turned one. Uh, he says he tried to refuse the doll, but he was, but the man who gave it to him was adamant that he take it and said it would bring his daughter good luck. Um, the stranger also told me, told him not to give it away. Um, that said, they kept it in their daughter's closet, hidden away on the top shelf and never took it out or played with it. Just prior to his daughter's second birthday, as they were reorganizing her closet, the doll accidentally fell off the shelf and broke its right leg because it is porcelain or ceramic. It's quite breakable. Um, a few weeks later, his daughter broke her right leg in the exact same place oh, in a trampoline incident. I know, isn't that so weird? I would be, I would be freaked out. Um, once they realized the coincidence, they were worried, um, but still kept the doll on the top shelf and tried to retape the leg together. They tried to do like a, a little repair. They didn't use porcelain or anything, but they, they used some pretty sturdy tape, I think. Um, lately, his daughter, who is now four, has been hearing noises or voices, um, which have been giving her trouble sleeping. Um, at this point, they decided to contact us and send the doll. Um, they say they don't necessarily believe in demonized or possessed dolls, but also don't dismiss the possibility that such things exist. Um, and for their family's sake, they had to get rid of it because that is just too weird of a coincidence. They're hoping that now it will leave their daughter and family alone. Yeah, that's... That's bonkers. Oh, and they're hoping to know a little bit about who adopts it so that they can have a little bit of closure. So whoever ends up adopting this one, I'm hoping that we'll have permission to share a little bit of information about who it goes to. I also asked, I had follow-up email, I asked um, if the voices have been mostly at night or if they've said anything identifiable, and she said yes. Um, he said yes, uh, she's heard a voice call her name at night, and... Um, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> they said yes. Yes, she claims a voice calls her name and says to come here. And uh, and it's almost always at night. Well, so, I don't mm. really need anything talking to me at night. No. Um, no, this might be one that starts out in the basement. <laughs> so let me pull her out here. Get it. <laughs> And she looks exactly oh. like I think she should. There we go. Uh, the client described her as interview with the vampire-esque with the, <laughs> with the curls. Here she is. Oh, Claudia. <laughs> oh, and there's her foot. Yes, and the leg break with tape attached. Well, we definitely hope everybody healed after this little monster. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. So here she is, the doll from a stranger with the, the weird coincidence of the broken legs. Coincidence? <laughs> coincidence? Coincidence. Mm. Um, so if anyone is interested in adopting this lovely lady, um, we're hoping that this one goes to someone a little more experienced who's comfortable with things that could be haunted. Um, because this that's a little bit that's, of a story. Yeah, that's an intense story. And um, the person wanted to remain very anonymous, um, which is something that we often see when it's someone who genuinely believes that there's a concern with the item. So, so here is the haunted doll. Please take it from my home.
Yeah, this one really creeps me out. Yeah, this, this one really weirds me out too. The psychic that we sometimes work with has some family stuff going on, unfortunately, and um, is not available right now. If there is anyone who identifies as a psychic or medium who would be interested in doing a Zoom call with us to possibly do a uh, remote reading with us, we would gladly trade you an Unsettling Toys shirt and we would love for you to come be on our channel with us because we, we would really like to know what's going on with this one. 